this town ain't big enough for the both of us. Hi guys, it's the Duke. Welcome to my channel. As you have noticed, I drifted away a little bit from ASMR, which was well, what I started to do, and gone more into, well, movies and things like that. And I feel that that's the direction I want to go in, actually. But as I always say, I want to keep my videos relaxing and entertaining. I want to address another thing, too. Uh, I'm filming with my uh, my phone because uh, <coughs> sorry because the SD card on my camera is nowhere to be found and unfortunately I dropped this mo mobile a couple of times and I noticed when I uploaded the video last night that uh, the sounds like was echoing Going. I don't know if it's because I'm using a new editing software because I accidentally spilled a glass of water into my old laptop and on this one I have now I don't have the old Windows Media Maker that I used to have and when I downloaded the newer Win Windows Media Movie Maker it didn't accept my file and I'm very bad at tech when it comes to that so I don't know anyway today's video as you can see is about westerns now I'm not the biggest western fan out there so mostly I think all of the movies on this list are going to be Italian so-called spaghetti westerns because those I love but American Westerns, there are a few that I dig. Some older John Wayne's movie like True Grit. Uh, I also love, uh, what's it called? Uh, Silverado, John Guns. But other than that, I feel they are too clean. <laughs> Everyone looks like they were just, they just came out from the makeup booth, you know, and they have clean clothes and pink shirts. And I don't know. So anyway, uh, I'm going to try and keep this in some kind of order. I have a couple of movies here that I want to show you guys and recommend. So I'm going to start with one that's pretty nice. And it's Viva Django with Anthony Stephan. It's a pretty regular Spaghetti Western fan. A fan film I mean uh, but it has that greedy atmosphere and let me just get this clear this isn't a sequel to the Franco Nero Django but due to the success of that movie a lot of Italian movies just adopted the name Django which we will see on this list later but I recommend this one it's a good entertaining movie I have to check some uh, things about it here. Uh, yeah, W Django. <laughs> I thought it was Viva Django, but uh, it's just W Django. And it's directed by... Uh, I haven't actually checked this out more than I watched it a couple of times, but I don't know much about it. Pino De Martino. So, but it is, this is a good uh, spaghetti western. Next up we have Terence Hill, also a Django clone. But this one actually is like a pseudo sequel because it is, I think, the same character. He has a machine gun in a coffin, but it doesn't tie in too much to the... To the uh, Franco Nero one and it's also called Django prepare a coffin and this is one of the more serious Terence Hill movies 
it still has some comedy in it but it's not like the trinity movies or they call me nobody or the bud spencer and terence hill movies this is a pretty you know revenge kind of story i highly recommend it uh, and next one we have here is actually the one I mentioned about. Now I don't have the original one for some weird reason, but I have the one they call Trinity 3. <coughs> All the way boys. <laughs> but it, this isn't. This is also a good movie, but this isn't a western. <laughs> uh, but the original Trinity uh, with Bud Spencer and Terence Hill. Uh, I think that's the one to start that with an iconic song and they have like uh, Terence Hill uh, sleeping on a kind of a homemade carriage that's uh, behind his horse but it doesn't have any wheels it just drags him after the horse and he's like sleeping but that one has a lot of humor it has a lot of the you know fist fights that became known or from uh, Bud Spencer and Terence Hill. But Trinity. Next up we have for a few dollars more by Sergio Leone with Leaf and Cleef and of course of course Clint Eastwood. Uh, this is an awesome movie uh, where he teams up with Leaf and Cleef uh, to uh, like uh, avenge Leif and Cleef's uh, murdered sister uh, who was killed by I have to I haven't seen this in a while so Indio is the guy who killed her and it also have Ennio Morricone's excellent soundtrack so uh, yeah I highly recommend for a few dollars more but also a fistful of dollars, which I don't have in my collection. I'm bad at westerns, <laughs> but uh, for a few dollars more. I also want to bring up some honorable mentions, uh, which is uh, actually a movie by Lucio Fulci, which is called Massacre Time, who is with uh, Franco Nero, a pretty gory, well, not Fulci standard gory, but a, a pretty cruel, violent spaghetti western with Franco Nero. And it's also been called Django in, I think, Germany. <laughs> Next up we have Keoma, also with Franco Nero. About he's a half Indian breed who is like coming back to his hometown and his brother, who is very racist against him, his, his stepbrother, I should say has taken over the family home and the town and he ends up in a well struggle against that guy and his gang of outlaws it has amazing music and it's directed by uh, i think it's directed by uh, is it Sergio Corbucci or Bruno Corbucci i think it's the same guy who made Inglorious Bastards the original, not the Quentin Tarantino one. I like that one too, by the way. So yeah, uh, Keoma. Uh, and the Swedish translation, uh, it has a subtitle, Med Satan i helarna, with Satan following his heels, <laughs> translated. So yeah, Keoma. And this one is hard. We are now at the first and second place. This is a pretty short video because as I said, I'm not the hugest Western fan, but I thought these were ones that I would really like to recommend. Uh, I'll have to say second place is the original Django with Franco Nero which is also Sergio Corbucci, I think it is, or Bruno Corbucci, I think they're brothers. Anyway, this is Django, the original one, where he's a kind of nameless bounty hunter who drags a coffin through the mud. And in that coffin is a very high-powered machine gun, or a Gatling gun, I should say. And he kind of becomes an involuntary, involuntary, <laughs> Fuck, what is wrong with my English today? I guess I'm tired. 
he's uh, this uh, anti-hero who have to save this town from this gang and uh, it's violent i think it was uh, i think it was actually banned in sweden for a while or something like that or heavily cut i don't know i've seen both versions i have it on dvd but uh, uh, I, I don't know if this is the uncut version or uh, but uh, anyway it's n it's it's one of the best westerns i've ever seen django and uh, Franco Nero, and, but not the same director, actually made a direct sequel to this one in, I think, 1986, <laughs> which was simply called Django 2, or uh, The Return of Django. And that one is an odd movie. I love it. And on the front cover, it has Franco Nero with a machine gun or Gatling gun. But he has this weird scarf around, like Rambo, and he is painted all buff, so he looks like Rambo. And the movie is set after this one, of course, and he has kind of become a monk. But when his daughter is kidnapped by an evil slave owner, he has to like get, dig up his old Gatling gun and uh, try to save her. And it's basically a Rambo ripoff. You don't get, you don't, you, you're not getting that Western vibe from it at all. It also has Donald Pleasance in it. Uh, so yeah, I, I can't recommend that on this list. Maybe if I do an 80s action hero list, then it will probably be on there. But uh, as a Western, it just feels very, very off. And now, of course, we have come to the first pick. And the problem with doing lists like this is that you probably already guessed what's number one. It's the good, the bad, and the ugly. Sergio Leone, Lee Van Cleef, uh, Ellie, Ellie Wallace, and Clint Eastwood, with music by Ennio Morricone. This one, I don't have much to say about it, really. If you haven't watched it, and if you're slightly interested in westerns, you just have to watch it because I think it's an amazing movie and it set the stage for all other like spaghetti westerns that came after it. The iconic music, you know, and the last duel in the graveyard that's so tense that you can like cut the atmosphere with a knife. It also has a lot of humor, mostly from Eli Wallace, who is, of course, the ugly. The good is Clint, and the bad is Lee Van Cleef. And they, like, compete for this buried, buried treasure in this graveyard, so it's almost like an adventure western movie. <laughs> I can't recommend this highly enough. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Well, that was a pretty short video, but I want to keep them short sometimes, most of the times, because I have limited internet. But uh, if you have any other recommendations for Spaghetti Westerns, put them in the description down there. I also will honorably mention Clint Eastwood in High Plains Drifter, which is a most, it's kind of like a horror western. He's like the reincarnation of this killed sheriff who comes back and turns the city into living hell more or less and I also want to recommend Pale Rider also Clint Eastwood uh, which is also an amazing movie but uh, I, I thought this was enough <laughs> all right guys I hope you enjoyed this we a little video have a nice uh, weekend, I think. I might mean, do another video, but I don't know. Anyway, love you guys. There can't be any light without darkness. This is the Duke, signing off. <laughs>